This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Yes, let's. Let's. Let's play. Hold it! B -b 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 when exactly did you arrive back at the hideout? It was after we had picked up the ransom money. And where were you up until, up until the time you returned? I was scouting the park out and making preparations for our escape. I walked around in the various areas looking for the best route. Ah, so each of them had their own roles to play. After I was done, I went back to the hideout. How did she get that bandage on her arm? I'm, that's bothering me, actually. Uh, maybe the f no, that was. She cut good. herself while shaving. Maybe the scissors. Oh, don't. Oh, that got dark. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she keeps pulling out scissors, trying to like cut her hair and cut herself, essentially, whenever she got stressed. Mm, that's true. How did Lanson look at it that time? He, well, he looked shocked. He also looked a little down. When I saw that sadness in his eyes, I... Thank you, that's enough for now. And what of Mr. Deacon? What was his situation like? He had tied Mr. Deacon securely to the beam. You are sure that it was Mr. Deacon that you saw? Yes, I'm certain of what I saw. Did you go into the other room to check? Lance said he, it was best I didn't get too close to him. Lance, d he's such a kind soul. Then are you telling me that you did not confirm that it was Mr. Deacon for yourself? I checked through the slit in the door that separates the two rooms. He had a bad badger's head on, so I'm absolutely sure. That just had to be Mr. Deacon. She saw a bad badger head. Was that on our head, then? That's possible. <laughs> Hold it! That could happen. So the tied-up Mr. Deacon was still in his bad badger costume? Yes. It would appear that she misread the whole situation. What now? Should I raise an objection? Always. Let's, objection. Do, it. Let's do it later. Oh. Perhaps I should listen to more of what she has to say. You gotta get all the dialogue. After that, the two of us put on our costumes. The bellboy was actually the mastermind? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I Why was he there? As a cameo. Oh. I assume the two of you split up, but plan to rendezvous later at a set time and place? Yes, we planned to meet up at the stage, and then I left the hideout not long after. And what about the ransom money? You mean that absolutely tasteless suitcase? Lance was supposed to bring that with him. But Oliver stole it from me, along with the gun when he escaped. If Mr. Deacon was alive at the hideout, then the murder must have happened after that. Meaning it probably all went down at the stage. I mean, I can't really see why Miss Pops would lie at a time like this, you know? Okay, I don't think she's lying, but rather she's making a bad assumption. She is? Yes, and I intend to show what a bad assumption that is. The person you saw was not the victim. What? Why not? I will tell you why not, with this. This Miss Pop shows us that the person you saw was not the victim. Uh... I mean, we were in the other room, so... This was held in the isolation room, which is not the... Uh, I think it's just that. that. Miss Pops, the person you saw was not Mr. Deacon at all. Huh? The person you actually saw was this person. Me? Miss Pops, the person you saw tied up to the beam was in fact K. Hey! Hold on! I was never tied up like that! Uh, right, I suppose not. <laughs> The one time in the beam screaming, no! Was... That will do, Kay. Anyway, the person you saw was most definitely not Mr. Deacon. <laughs> he won't let her say it. The person you saw tied up to the beam was none other than Lance. But Lance was the one who showed me the tied up person next door. You're claiming that the boy somehow showed himself tied up to the <laughs> beam? Are you serious? Or perhaps you believe there's a rip in the space time continuum? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> who was it that was tied up to that beam? Aha, I see. Now I know who it was. As I thought, the person was definitely not Mr. Deacon. It was us. It was me. Huh? The person I saw was you, Mr. Edgeworth. I always thought it was a bit odd. 
Why would the kidnappers abduct me even after I'd handed over the ransom? Because they were butts. <laughs> yeah. It's not as though I saw the face of the kidnappers. If I were them, I would have just taken the million dollars and ran. But in that end, there was a point to it all. It was to make me look like Mr. Deacon. And if that was the reason for which I was abducted, then I believe we can assume that the victim was already dead at that time. Well, Lance, am I right? <sighs> That's... You showed Miss Pops a person, namely me, with a bad badger's head on. And then made your costume to escape together. Or so you pretended. Huh? What do you mean by pretended? Exactly that. I believe Lance watched you escape, and then doubled back to the hideout. Probably to come and remove the bad badger head from my unconscious self. <laughs> and to create his fake prison with the prop sword, he then escaped via the passageway. Hold your tongue, boy! Don't get caught up in that tidal wave of words coming out of Mr. Prosecutor's mouth. Tidal wave? We've heard a lot come out of you, but I've yet to see a shred of evidence. We just proved some of this! The victim's betrayal and his subsequent detainment. All of that could have happened while you were out cold. Th that's right! You were out for quite a while, Mr. Prosecutor! Even if that were the case, Miss Pops would have still seen me tied to that beam. I... was scared of Mr. Deacon, so I didn't go into the next room. So I really have no idea if you were in there or not, Mr. Edgeworth. You see? It would seem that you can't prove a thing. Gah! Who said that? Please wait. Mr. Romano. Ho ho ho! Miles, my boy. It looks like you are really giving it your all. And Lance, it's not good to cause trouble for others. D Dad! Let's see, uh, you are the one in charge of the investigation, correct? Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry that my son has been nothing but trouble. This probably won't make up for anything, but I have some evidence for you. Oh, do you now? Uh... Is that what I think it is? It's the Bad Badger costume the victim was wearing! And a gun? Did he go like, swimming in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> it really looks like it. Well, oh no, somebody... he got Larry to do it, probably. <laughs> Larry has been on a boat looking for Gordy before. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it's wet, so they must have found the other gun. Yep. I couldn't wait around for the police, so I went and found these myself. It appears that they were disposed of in the sea. <laughs> ah! Is there no one in this country that actually obeys the law? <laughs> <laughs> there? There, now. Agent Lane, please calm down. Hmm, what the heck is that scrap of paper? This appears to be a letter from the chief of police. Damon Dance, come on! Oh, <laughs> oh wait, he's in jail. Please allow Mr. Romano complete freedom to do as he sees fit, it says. What? <laughs> the, the chief of police? <laughs> what the? Just who does he think he is? <laughs> there, there, now. There is no need to be so upset. <laughs> I'm not a cop from this land, so I'm not bound by the laws of your country. Now, now, now. This wasn't meant to strong arm you into anything, it's just a request. I'm only asking that you please respect the laws of the land. Why did they draw, like, a weird circle around his mouth? What? The, no, the blue badger. The bad oh, badger. Oh, oh, now. that's his beard. It's like a goatee, but he's blue. But it's so just it's... a circle. <laughs> I didn't see it was a good goatee. It's a bad goatee. <laughs> I thought you were talking about he Amano. Like I'm a... like, what circle around? He his looks mouth? like a penguin. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't really say no to that. However, returning to the topic at hand, it doesn't matter who found the evidence. Its value remains unchanged. All right, now let's take a look at this new evidence. I've already got the results back. I had a special forensics research lab that I'm on good terms with conduct the tests. They verified that the blood on this costume belonged to Oliver. As for the gun, the only fingerprints they could find were yours, Lorne. What? You disappoint me, Miles. I can't believe that you... that you would cause my son such stress and heartache. Thank goodness I was able to find the final pieces of evidence. With this, you'll have no reason left to push my poor boy around. That's it? These are the case-making pieces of evidence? 
Ha! I'll be the judge of that. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious nook and cranny. Uh, what's on the head? Check the head. The beat. No, check oh. that. Yeah. There's nothing. There is definitely something unusual there. Hmm? What's this? Looks like there's something inside the costume head. Hey! They sparkle! I bet they're really valuable! Sorry, but they're just pieces of a mirror. But why are they in here? Mirror fragments data jotted down. Check out How did he that. find this in the Z? Maybe it floated? <laughs> oh, I guess that's possible. I, I would think that like a cloth costume would like float at first, but then sink. Especially yeah. if it has a gun attached if to it. If it has a gun attached to it, maybe. But, I don't know. This bullet hole. It looks kind of burnt around the edges. Wait, those burn marks were left by gunpowder. This is a most important fact. Why is that? Because it is proof that the victim was shot at point blank range. Okay. Could this gun be the actual murder weapon? That's it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it? Well, are these not the most definitive pieces of evidence you've ever seen? Thank you, Dad. This should be enough to convince even Mr. Edgeworth over there. You're wrong, boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Decisive evidence. Make no mistake, there are fingerprints on that murderous gun. Is that so? And they proved that it was Lolly who killed Oliver. But Oliver was also after Lolly's life. So Mr. Edgeworth, even you must see that Lolly was only acting in self-defense. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying she's a murderer. I, she's totally justified in what she did. Yeah, so, yeah. The fingerprints on the weapon, huh? Oh no! This isn't helpful at all! Look, Mr. Edgeworth, all I want to do is save Lolly. But in the end, all I can do is watch on as she takes the punishment for her crime. She didn't commit a crime! It's justified self-defense! If someone's trying to kill you, you can kill them! Yeah! <laughs> that may be all that you can do, however, I still have a case to solve and a job to do. The job of unraveling your insidious lie. You wound me. Why won't you believe me, even in the face of all this evidence? Because, <laughs> as Marty put it, you're ugly. <laughs> and ugly people are really desperate. <laughs> <laughs> you should haggle with them! You should haggle with them! Oh my god. I want more than free magical powers! <laughs> but seriously, Lance, your hairdo, like, what's up with that? It's very asymmetrical. You also have pink earrings. Those don't, those don't go well on What's the thing in his pocket, too? <laughs> um, I'll have to go back into that. Those fingerprints, are you sure they belong to Miss Pops? There's no mistake about it. Though my con through my connections, I have the best forensics techniques money can buy perform. I got Evo Sky. I find that to be a bit peculiar. What? Are you trying to pick an argument with me? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Always I mean, raise the objection. I mean, he does kind of run the Yakuza, mm. but... <laughs> Always raise an objection. Perhaps I should wait to see how things pan out first. How this pans out. How things pans out. Peter pans out, that is. Frankly, I don't believe that Miss Pops' prints should be on the gun to begin with. They should be on the gun. And the reason why Mrs. Pops' prints should not be on the gun is... Does ocean water remove prints? I would assume so. Th that's why? <laughs> Does it just say disposed of in the sea? No. Does the other weapon say disposed of in the sea? No. <laughs> Oh, I know why. Duh. Take that. With this piece of evidence, there is no reason for her to have left prints at all. Which piece is that? Look here, this is what I speak of. Your logic is so hard to follow, you should provide a map. <laughs> what if they had, like, the most epic lawyer rap battles like that? Oh, I'm sure there are epic rap battles in history, like Phoenix Wright versus Miles mm -hmm. Those videos suck, though. Yeah. <laughs> shots fired. Even if she did, there's something specific that makes it impossible to leave press. Oh, I'm an idiot. She's wearing the costume. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Can we go back? Yeah, well, let's just press the other okay. status, though. You sure are calm for someone who's accusing his own girlfriend of murder. You have it all wrong. Allowing her to pay the price is a form of love. Uh, this guy is full of crap. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? She's... Never date a guy like Lance. Oh, oh, what's in his pocket? Uh... Mm -hmm. Rope? It's like a pocket watch or something. But it's like a U. 
yeah, one end is, you know, like, those old, like, tiny things, like, like LeBlanc, where he had the pocket watch, where one end is tied to, like, his shirt, the other is tied or, to the or, watch. Or, um, Cinderella, there's the guy, oh, the Duke. Monocle. The Duke is great, yeah. The Duke, yeah. That's, like, the best part of that movie, honestly, is, like, him and the king. <laughs> the king is great. The king's great. Come on, surely one of these would be a good mother. Uh, <laughs> wife. <laughs> yeah. I like Cinderella. That's a that, good, that's a fun it's movie. It's a good movie. It's got some, it's intense. I watched it, not this past summer, but the summer before that with one of my friends. So I was like, I forgot how intense this movie is. That's not an intense wow. movie. Well, but it's just so much like, oh, I forgot. Like, they like, she gets locked in the That's like the climax of the movie. I know, but I hadn't seen Compare it. Compare it to like any old timey Disney movie. And like, all of them are more intense than that. Alice in Wonderland is more intense than that. Alice in Wonderland is very intense. Peter Pan is more intense than that. No, it's not. What about the whole, all the battles against Captain Hook? It's time to walk the play. What about Peter Pan almost blowing up? <laughs> what? The, oh, I forgot about that part. Was that? I promise never to lay a hand or a hook on, on Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. <laughs> <laughs> and I always keep my word. Captain Hook is amazing villain. But anyways, I love that. She says that she also wants to pay back her debt to society, but. Captain Hook and Mistress Me, best villain duo. Best villain. Followed duo. by Yzma and Kronk. They're so good. And why do you believe that the victim was set on taking Miss Pops' life? I suppose it's because he wanted to silence her. To keep her quiet because she knows the truth behind the kidnapping. In that case, why did he not target you as well? D that's because... Uh, because he knew that if he killed me, he, he wouldn't be able to control my father. Ho ho ho! Right you are. Even if it cost me millions, I would have had the killer found. I believe he didn't kill you for an entirely different reason, however, but I digress. Look! More than why he didn't kill me, I'm worried about what'll happen to Wally! So, Mr. Edgeworth, anyhow, oh, as you can see... As you can see, I suck. No, but like, compared to the other Disney movies, like, Snow White's more intense, Pinocchio's way more intense. I haven't seen all Pinocchio. Uh, Fantasia's more intense. Maybe the one with the Sorcerer's Apprentice. And Night on Bald Mountain. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Snow White's not that- Free Caballeros is not Never intense. mind, Snow White's kind of- Snow White where the hunter's like, RUN, Snow White! How about White. every fane with Queen Grimhilda? <laughs> the evil queen! With the uncanny valley face who turns into the old hag. Oh. It's kind of a frightening sequence of scenes. Oh, I- I only saw that once when I was ten. I like that one. It's, yeah, it's- not like Pinocchio. My least favorite Disney movie, that one. Pinocchio, I, yeah, I haven't seen it's it. It's so messed I up. I went on the ride at Disneyland with my cousin, and we were like, oh yeah, like, got no strings to hold me down. And then we then it's like, and hey, let's go for all the scary parts no, of the movie. No, literally, we w entered the next room, and we were in a cage. Yeah. I'm like, what's happening? Pinocchio, where are you going? They're like, Pinocchio, go away from Paradise Park, or whatever Pleasure it is. Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. Oh, it's Pleasure Island. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of weird how Disney World had a spot named Yeah, they had a spot named Pleasure Island for adults. Now it's not. But it was named after Justified self-defense! Justified self-defense! <laughs> Everyone hates my videos for this. <laughs> I suppose that is a possibility, given the circumstances. Really? Oh my goodness. It's like Edgeworth's just talking like, and so this is why Pinocchio's a messed up movie. It's like, Edgeworth, I agree, but like, come on. <laughs> However, self-defense was not necessary in this case. What do you mean? Miss Pops is innocent. She didn't do anything, so why should would she need to defend herself from nothing? You still don't believe a word I say, do you? His entire argument hinges on the fact that her fingerprints are on the gun. However, the truth does not lie there. It lies in whatever he is hiding from me, but not for long. Oh, this is like the quintessential story of like, I have a reputation to uphold, so I will do whatever I can with my millions to like get this. Yeah. It's simply not possible for Miss Pops to have left any prints on the murder weapon. Because while she was at the stadium, Miss Pops was wearing a costume. Huh? But there's no mistake! We found fingerprints! Well, Miss Pops, do you remember touching the gun at all at any time? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I did hold it for a bit back in the hideout. I handed it off to Mr. Deacon when he and Lance left for the haunted house. To retrieve the ransom money, I suppose. And there you have it. That is when Mrs. Pop's prints found their way onto the gun. <laughs> do you understand now, Mr. Romano? The fingerprints do nothing to prove that Miss Pops is the murderer. But you still don't have anything to prove that she isn't the killer, right? 
You seem very adamant about you insisting that your girlfriend is a cold-blooded killer. Blitz! What? No way! I'm incredibly worried about her! But that doesn't change the fact that you don't have any evidence, right? <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I have the evidence. What? How? The story that Miss Pops killed this victim at the stage in the stadium. The whole affair is simply not true, because that was not the real crime scene, but a setup. This proves that the real murder was not committed at the stadium at all. How about the fact that there was no blood? The fact that old Magnus was like, ah, I, I saw, saw something! <laughs> I saw something, but I don't know what! Oh, it, it was the fake revolver? Take that! Not that one. Oh, sorry. The fake gun? This one? Yeah. Take that! This piece of evidence oh. proves that the real crime scene is not, in fact, the stadium. But then he wouldn't have died! Mr. Prosecutor, I'd have to rate this mod piece of logic a 0 out of 10. Wow! Zero? It's at least a 6.8 out of 10. Is that an IGN reference? <laughs> I don't know. What's IGN? IGN reviews games. Oh! And they're infamous for being like, Oh, I paid you because we're like, six. six. <laughs> or not really, but like, they're, they're pretty stingy at times. Okay. At this rate, Mommy's going to wind up getting arrested. I must remain calm and think clearly, if the murder did not happen at the stadium, then the scenario where the victim w was uh, up on the stage and Miss Pops was down below, there must be something that invalidates it. Yeah. It's the fact that there are mirror fragments in there. This piece of evidence proves that the real crime scene is- What? But that's true! Those are from the haunted house! Maybe we have to do logic? <laughs> I've never heard of that! <laughs> this is the entire web page, just like, whoa, what's logic? What is logic? This, what is this magic? Thing? This is the fact that the false is the Oh, you shot for point blank, duh. I'm stupid. Let us take another good look at the costume the victim was wearing. Then I believe you will see why I insist he was not shot at the stadium. They're really like, oh, you need to point out everything. Gobble. Gobble. If you look Gobble. in this area, all will become clear. This area? Do you really think some sort of vague statement's going to fly? Grr, he saw right through me. I just know that it's not possible for the victim to have been shot at the stadium. Oh, wait. Do we have to point at the mirror fragments Take here? <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, it's just the gun cut burn. The burner area around this bullet hole was made when the victim was shot at point-blank range. Uh, so then you mean the murder Miss Olbeg saw at the stadium really was- Yes, she saw two people, but they were separated by a distance. If the victim was indeed shot from below the stage, there shouldn't be a gunpowder burn. Ah! Heh, <laughs> look at you, Mr. Smarty Pants Prosecutor. Since you seem to know all the answers, why not tell us where the real crime scene is then? Ooh, what? the music. That set me up to look at, like, Mr. Deacon back at the hideout. If that's the case, then the murder must have happened prior to that. And the location where Lance and the victim were is just before I was in prison was... I've got it! I know where the real scene of the murder is! The real location in which Mr. Deacon was killed is here. It's pretty obvious. On the Ferris wheel. <laughs> that would be a great murder! It's like, it's time to go on the Ferris wheel, goes up, comes down, they're dead! <laughs> this person was sitting next to him, so he had to be the killer. Like, yeah, that's what happened. That would no, be... the person at the top of the Ferris who dropped the knife on him from the world. That would be such a great, stupid game. That would be like, one of those really no. bad, like, asinine attorney no, things. No, that would be a great first case. First case? Uh... Turn about kid, Ferris wheel. Turn about Ferris wheel. They're at the carnival. It's like, wow, look at this. Then they drop, yeah, like they like drop the knife. Where it's like, then this character. There's like the one weird character that's like, and then this character was struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Where is that supposed to be? She not find out for me, will you? It doesn't have a name. It just simply is. Well, that was a big waste of time. Thanks to your below subpar reasoning skills. What if it was skills. on the roller coaster? What? Oh yeah, there is a roller coaster. Who would go on the roller coaster there? Wait, is there a different dialogue for these different places? The real scene of the murder was here in the Wild Wild West area. The place where you and I first met, huh? But didn't you already check there? I know I did, and there wasn't a single sign that someone had been killed there. What if we hit it? Yes, well, I suppose there wasn't. The murder took place before I was in prison, there was only one place where they could be, and that's the stadium. <laughs> the real scene of the murder was here at the stage inside the stadium. Hold it! You're 
the one who just claimed that the stage was not the real crime scene. Now take some responsibility for that time-wasting outburst. <sighs> How can I forget the point of my own argument? And at the critical junction, it's like someone else is picking my options for me and is purposefully getting them wrong. Take that! The real scene of the crime was here, right in front of the main gate. If the murder really happened here, you'd think there would be a witness or two. And yet not a single person is yet to come forward. Yeah, because they were all given 220s. Or, or yeah. there's the, like, weird dad that was like, Look at the proto-badger hunch! <laughs> Where were the two of them just prior to my imprisonment? It's not that hard. Take that. I think it's not unreasonable to assume that the murder took place in the haunted house, because it's literally the only place I would check. Oh, we should have picked the boat! <laughs> there's a boat there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. The haunted house. Yes, and I have proof that it is highly likely that the victim oh, was killed there. Oh, and then there's the mirror. Oh, okay. Yep, we got this. Take Except that. you don't got this. This piece of evidence tells us that I am a prosecutor, and that the haunted house is where the victim was killed. I don't hear anything other than the sound of desperation. <laughs> <laughs> The haunted house, the costume, and the gun, they're all connected, and the final piece of the complex chess set does it. Uh, <laughs> no, I did not pick that! <laughs> I dropped my input. That would be great if that was how Edge Roof actually was He's like digging through his pockets, he's like, it's this! No! <laughs> These were inside the costume the victim was wearing, the fragments of a mirror. Ever read Harry Potter 7? A mirror? Now what does that have to do with anything? What was the mirror in Harry Potter 7? Yeah, there's the broken piece of the mirror. Did but I see Do I not remember that book at all? Probably not. I remember, like, they camped out for, like, oh, yeah. half the book. Because they were like, we, yeah. we gotta stay Indeed. away from Death Eaters and You people. don't exactly expect to find pieces of a mirror inside a costume. Yeah, that's actually pretty dangerous. However, there is one place I can think of where there is a plethora of mirror fragments. And that is the haunted house. Lansamano, I propose that you kill Mr. Deacon with the revolver in the haunted house. <laughs> it's like Clue! It's Clue! After that, you stole the Blue Badger Mobile to move his body to the Wild Wild West area. The timing of when the Blue Badger Mobile was stolen confirms this as fact. Sweat boy. Miles, my boy! Say no more! I'm sorry, Mr. Amano, but I cannot do that. Be quiet! Yes, please do something! Stop that boy from speaking any more nonsense! Ernest- Ernest Amano, correct? I mean you. Now be quiet, Gramps. H how dare you! I don't need words. The only thing I require is evidence. Decisive evidence. Thank you, Lang, for actually taking our side for once. Yeah, and to call these mirrors pits decisive is a bit too presumptuous, Mr. Prosecutor. What? Sheena, wasn't there a mirror in the kidnapper's hideout? Yes. There was a mirror there. A mirror that for the haunted house. That's for the haunted house. You see? Isn't it possible the fragments got into the costume there? But Agent Lane, there were no fragments on the floor, so the probability is very low. And who would scoop up the mirror fragments and be like, put them in, <laughs> put them in his shirt? Good like luck charm. Probability? <laughs> I didn't take statistics. Lane Z says on Troop's path, the word probability does not exist. The only thing that does is definitive proof. The question, Mr. Prosecutor, is do you have the definitive proof you need? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, do you? Do I have solid evidence that proves the murder took place at the haunted house? The answer is no. See? So since you don't have any, shut up! I don't have the evidence yet, but... I'm certain the murder occurred around the time I turned the ransom over. At that time, the only people at the haunted house, besides myself, were Lance and Mr. Deacon. What? what? Ooh, ooh. What if Mr. Romano was in on this, too? Against oh. all odds, because he was like, Oh, What would he have to do? Oh, he just wanted like, Edgeworth, Edgeworth to get involved? Boy. Yeah, he wanted Edgeworth to get involved, and then if Edgeworth tried to point out the crime, then he'd be like, Well, you're losing all of your prosecutor jobs. <laughs> oh. I can write you off. And then, like, it secretly... So he's, he's just, just doing this to be a butt to Edgeworth. Yeah, secretly, he just hates Edgeworth's guts, and he's like, Oh, you... You're like nothing like Manfred Von Karma, my old friend. N yeah, like, maybe he's nothing like him. He's like, you're too pure of a soul. <laughs> How would he be too pure? <laughs> <laughs> You're too pure. If I can prove that the murder took place at the haunted house, 
then I can prove that Lance is guilty in this connection to the murder. At least at this point, I'm pretty sure Mr. Romano knows that either his son did it or knows that this thing was happening the whole time. And he's just like, so he's yeah, just this like, ain't going. He's like, shut up, Edgeworth. I need my son. Fine. What now, Mr. Edgeworth? Agent Lane, I have a special request. Yeah. I'd like to prove to you that the scene of the crime was indeed the haunted house. What in the world are you saying? Asking the werewolf for permission. Because I don't really have a choice if I want to find the truth. All right, permission granted. But you're not to touch a single thing. Got it. Yeah, we can just look. That won't be a problem. All that's important to me is that the truth be brought to light. It doesn't matter by who or how it's done, as long as it is. Tch! Sheena! I'm here. Put in the paperwork for the authorization immediately. Understood. I'll go get the Gatewater Group's approval. Who was that? No, no. no. Let's hold on for a second. There's no need to obtain approval. Mr. Romano? Agent Lane, if you would please take a look at this. What is that? Sheena, I can't read. Read it for me. <laughs> it's the deed to the haunted house. The deed? Read it out loud. I can't read. <laughs> Gatewaterland Incorporated hereby bequeaths the property known as the Haunted House to Mr. Romano for the lump sum of one million, paid in full in cash. This whole thing was set up by him! <laughs> wow! He got it! He's like, I just need you to bring this one million dollars to this haunted house! See that? Uh, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of a tool. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ho oh, ho ho! As you can see, I am now the legal owner of the haunted house. People, that would be like Disney's like, here, you own the haunted mansion. Just the, the haunted, haunted mansion! mansion in Disney World. You can have your dinner part your dinner parties there. You can't do anything else. <laughs> this is always struck me as really weird. He's just like, I need to buy the haunted house. Well, maybe he knew that this was going down. He is a butler! The butler wouldn't be able to lie to his <laughs> own dude, and he'd be like, this is what's happening. He's like, the jowls on this man is Who's buying the haunted house? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know why he bought the haunted house. I'm, I guess it's like, he's just like, I need to buy the haunted house. Dude, it's a part of the theme park. Like, it's not for sale. I'll give you a million dollars. Hey, now! Uh, hey, well, now! Sure, dude. sure. <laughs> Are you kidding? When did you... I ran into the owner of the park earlier, and we made the deal almost immediately. I was just counting a million dollars in my hands, after all. <laughs> How quickly fiends move when you can prepare a million dollars in the blink of an eye. I'm rich, did you know? Wow! <laughs> that one million dollars you paid, don't tell me it was... Oh, that's right. This disgusting suitcase belongs to you, doesn't it? I don't have any more use for it, so you may have it back now. Y you use the ransom money? My Lance is a good boy. He even apologized for the kidnapping a bit earlier. Oh! Well, if he just apologized for it, then oh. that's fine! No need to wow. pay for the consequences at all! Let's just go in our Guys, um, what? So I do believe that I will forgive him. After all, he did return the ransom money. <laughs> that's the way things are. So, so uh, if you would please discuss things with wait me a minute. from now on. Let me see if I'm getting this right. So he pays a million dollars to the haunted house to buy it, and then he gets the one million dollars back. No, 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 he got the one million dollars back, then he's like, gotta buy the haunted house! Oh. <laughs> that is the best oh. property in Monopoly Junior, by the way. The haunted house? <laughs> no, no, it's not. The roller coaster is. Yeah, the roller coaster is. <laughs> and loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so please discuss things with me from now on. Discuss? What is there to discuss? Why, permission to enter the haunted house, of course. While we were busy listening to Lance's story, Mr. Amano was out there preempting us. Oh wait, you don't have a brain, do you? The permission to search the haunted house is denied. Ooh! End of discussion. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! <laughs> There's just like blood everywhere. He's <laughs> <laughs> sweeping it up. No, no one's around. <laughs> what if this guy killed the butler? <laughs> this guy is so terrible. What I mean, we knew did? that because he's the lead of a Yakuza group, but... I didn't know he was the lead of a Yakuza group. Well, maybe group. not Yakuza, but he's a, he's, he's involved with organized crime. Remember where he's like, oh, he's the leader of the Amano group, which is like a lead blah blah blah, and we're like, I don't really know what that word is. That's like a type of organized crime, I think. Oh. So, yeah. Agent Lane, I want you to arrest that girl. 
And Miles, you should hurry on home now, my boy, before I really lose my temper. What is this gate to? Ah, Mr. Romano definitely has the Dax stacked in his favor here. Oh, yeah, he had that million dollars of rest of money, but he also had an additional million that he's just counting in his hand. Um, he's just carrying wads of cash! Isn't Edgeworth rich? Can't he, like, do something? <laughs> Not as rich as he's that guy. He's a prosecutor, though. He's <laughs> he has a, he's a red sports car, but he doesn't have like, a million dollars to buy the deed. To but the he's got, like, back. probably $300,000 sitting around. <laughs> also, I can't believe this dude hasn't been robbed this whole day. <laughs> I know! He just has a giant wad of cash in like, his hand. Okay, if you were to do that anywhere in North America, you would get, like, you'd, like, get taken into, like, the dark alleyway and then get beat up. I mean, taken. it might be like, oh, that's Ernest Amano. He's powerful. Like, everyone loves him. I mean, oh, we'll die if we do that. Oh, no. <laughs> Which is probably I don't true. Think so. What should I do? If I leave it like this, the truth will be lost forever. The end of part one. <laughs> so, a lot one. happened in that part. So, the next time we're going to um, jo join forces and uh, beat up Ernest Amano till we can go inside. <laughs> and the, actually, part two just turns into a like Street Fighter. Where you, beat, where you beat up Ernest Amano for being such no a No alibi, no justice, no dreams, dreams no, no hope. hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. This isn't more entertaining than I thought. Tune in next That's time. Great. We'll have to figure out how what we can do. What can we do? And that'll be Everything. end part two, which I believe is the final part of the case. And part three, it's just a Phoenix Wright uh, side story. <laughs> About OBA. him in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Yeah, I wonder why Edward's just running around frantically with some hot shit. Yeah, it's probably not. All the lawyers.